Hello everyone. I hope all our students and parents are safe and blessed with good health. Today we are going to uh, start with something which is really relevant in 21st century, which is coding. Uh, coding is something which is going to help us um, to develop our uh, problem solving skills. It also helps us to enhance our structural thinking ability. Now computer science is something which um, uh, benefits uh, us uh, that in, su in such a way that computer uh, uh, computers uh, interactive. So um, anytime when someone clicks, tabs, or write down something onto the computer, uh, that time an event generates. And then there is some coding which decides what to do uh, when uh, there is an event which uh, occurs right that means um, here we are going to start a program uh, with the by using um, an event okay so let's try an activity to get how it works first for that i'm going to share my screen okay So first we have to um, open code.org. Then we'll be able to find uh, many activities uh, in the R of code section. You can start with dance party also. In the dance party, you are going to uh, program uh, the number of uh, uh, co-dance partner. There you will be able to code um, type of dance form um, or uh, the theme also you can change over there or the steps also you can um, change okay so it's you can start it's, it's really a fun to uh, do with dance but you can start with dance but also but here today i'm going to start with flappy code okay so um here uh, some you we, we will be able to get some um videos also which can pop out in the videos if you go through the videos you'll be able to see uh, some instruction they are going to help you out, out with uh, some tricks also that are going to need need to solve the puzzles okay so um, here by using an event handlers we can learn how to program a custom version of flappy bird now the code we write involves dragging and dropping of the blocks. Now you will be able to see that here we have four parts. Okay, this page has four parts. One where uh, we are going to have that uh, flappy bird wheel. Next one is where we are, um, we are having that blocks um, where uh, all the blocks which are going to need to uh, code are given here in the block section. And then we have workspace. Um, where we have to write our code and there uh, and another part uh, where we have our instructions. We have to read the instru instructions and you have to follow those instructions and you have to complete our uh, activity. Okay, so in the workspace you, you can see that already a green color block uh, is already filled in here for us which we are going to call it event. Um, Right, and event handlers, which are going to call it an event handlers. If we want the bird to flap when you click the mouse, what you have to do, we have to attach the flap block with the event, event handler. Okay, now when we have, uh, um, now we, here we can also add some music here if you want to play when the bird is going to flap. We can play some music, uh, you play some sound here. So I'm going to drag it and drop it here also. Here we have drop down arrow. So that means we can change the settings, right? So um, we can change the settings of the sound also. So I'm keeping it, keeping it as uh, being. Now, when you have to execute uh, this program, here we have to do it, okay? So now I'm going to click here and so that's how it's going to execute. So I have completed first puzzle. Now I'm going to continue with the next one. 
now in the next puzzle uh, we have um, uh, whatever is the instruction here now we have added some ground attach a block to the when heat the ground block and we uh, need to end game when flappy crashes okay so for that what are going to do again uh, we are going to add some sound here when the bird is going to flap and when the bird is going to hit the ground we are going to, uh, we are going to end the game okay so now we are going to execute from here so now let's click here so when it's going to hit the ground the game is over okay now we are going to start doing the third puzzle now the instruction here the win uh, run block allows you to run code when your game starts try setting the level speed and flapping to the target okay so now um, again i'm going to add some sound here and then we have to set the speed when the bird is going to flap okay the speed we can change like it can be random very slow slow normal first or very first i'm keeping it as normal now we are going to start execute from here so here it is okay now we have puzzle number 4 now in puzzle 4 uh, flappy will fly to the obstacles unless you write code to make him crash attach a block to the when he an obstacle block your code needs to end game when flappy crashes into the first set of bytes okay so i'm start writing the code so you can see here that the code we write involves dragging and dropping of the blocks right now um when he hit an obstacle the game will over okay so the speed is normal or we can change it change the speed also uh, like uh, slow maybe okay now we are going to start executing here run and then click ah uh, so when the bird hits uh, an obstacle the game is over now we're going to come with puzzle number 5 so what is the instruction here let's add a scoreboard and count points when flappy makes it uh, past obstacles add to the when pass an obstacle block and then score a point by flying flappy through the first set of bytes okay so that means we are going to score a point when it's uh, going to pass an obstacle right so i'm going to drag the this block score a point block to when pass obstacle block and the speed is normal okay and it's going to play the sound like wing sound okay then i'm going to run from here let's see when it's going to pass the obstacle if it's going to score a point or not i'm going to change the uh, speed like slow and change the speed normal to slow now i'm going to run the program okay so when it's going to pass obstacle it's going to score a point mm. so that's how we can solve uh, this flappy bird puzzle we have a uh, lot more activities here okay you can complete it one by one i'm going to show you something new here like, like uh, what if uh, if you if you are going to start with something like uh, minecraft maybe okay it's minecraft okay 
Mm. So you can go through the video for the instruction and the tricks, which is really helpful. Okay. Here we have to choose and a correct character. Here I am choosing character Steve. Okay. So what is the instruction here? You need supplies for the voyage ahead. Collect a boat from the chest. Okay. So again, on um, this page we have four parts. This is the Minecraft wheel. This is the blo uh, block part where all the blocks are given. And this is a workspace. And uh, here we have instructions. Okay. So now I'm going to start doing it. Uh, this orange block is the event handlers here. So if Steve has to go to the chest, it has to move ahead, right? And how many steps he has to take? He has to take two steps, right? To reach this chest. So I'm going to, here we have already moved forward block, which is already attached to the event handler. I'm going to add one more block which is move forward block because he needs to take two steps ahead. So two move forward block I have already attached to the event handler. Now I'm going to uh, run the program. Okay, yes. So he has gone to the chase. Uh, <clears throat> now I'm going to continue with the second puzzle. Okay, now what is the instruction here? Boats are much easier than swimming in open water. Head to the end of the dock to hop a board. Okay, so that means he has to first, he has to move ahead, then he has to take right turn, and then he has to take two steps ahead to you know, hop in onto the boat, right? So now first he has to move forward so i'm dragging and dropping this block which is move forward block then he has to take right turn right then two steps ahead he has to go to hop onto the boat so i'm going to add two blocks of move forward block now let's execute from here i'm going to run the program let's see what he's going to do yes yes so he is going to put next we have puzzle number three now we have uh, grabbed the oars and pilot your boat across the open seas to catch the cod. So here is the cod and he has to go all the way to the cod. For that, if you are going to count, we need four steps. That means uh, he has to go four steps ahead to catch the cod fish. So that is why I'm going to attach seven move forward block to the event handler. So three, four, five, six, and seven. <coughs> Going to run from here. <coughs> yes. <coughs> so it Got the cod fish. Now we can continue with puzzle number four. <coughs> Again, we have another video here. <coughs> now, in this uh, puzzle, the instruction here uh, like let's feed the cod to the dolphin. Use a repeat until lock, until lock to get across the ocean faster. Okay. So, uh, previous in the Previous puzzle in that we have to attach seven uh, number of uh, move, move forward uh, blocks to the event handler, right? So, but we can avoid it, right? We can avoid this is a really tiresome job, so we can avoid it by using this repeat until goal uh, block, 
okay so whatever commands we are going to uh, repeat it again and again we can put it under repeat attempt goal blocks so we don't have to write it down uh, we do not have to attach the blocks again and again okay so here i'm going to do the same thing like move forward block i'm going to attach the repeat until goal blocks so i don't have to repeat this move forward block again and again now let's see how it's going to execute <coughs> yes so we have completed puzzle number 4 then we have puzzle number 5 now he is facing the other side so he has right first and the chest is here right so he is here he has to face right and then he has to take two steps ahead then he has to take again right turn again two steps ahead then he will be able to reach the chest so under uh, under repeat until goal block i'm going to write down i'm going to attach this block turn right and then to move forward block okay then i'm going to run the program okay yes turn right and then to yes now it can reach the chest now uh, um, we are going to continue with puzzle number 6 okay so here we have two pink blocks one is repeat until goal and another one is repeat three times do okay so again uh, i'm going to drag and drop this block repeat until goal block then so first it has to turn right and then three steps ahead then it has to turn left then again three steps ahead he has to go and if you come to if you are going to repeat uh, these many steps again here then we will be able to reach um, to the salmon right so what is the instruction and actually looks freezing out there we have to catch a salmon on our way to the underwater ruins okay so if i am not going to use this block repeat three times uh, do block then how i am going to uh, code here so uh, first it has to turn right so turn right block i'm attaching here attaching to the this block and then three times move forward one two three right then it has to take left turn so i'm changing so here we have drop down uh, arrow so we can change the settings right so i'm changing it to left and again it has to go three steps ahead <clears throat> okay right now i'm not using this block let's see uh, how it's going to execute okay so run yes then it's going to take left turn then move forward again right turn move forward left turn move forward yes again we are going to replay the same uh, puzzle we are going to do uh, it again by using this repeat three times do okay so first we have to take right uh, right turn there is no doubt about it right then i am going to drag repeat three times do block then move forward block right it's going to move uh, we, we have already attached um three move forward uh, blocks here right so we don't have to change number this number it so it will, it will remain three only okay then it has to take um turn it has to turn left and then again i'm going to repeat three times to block and then again move forward block
how we are going to delete this uh, these blocks which are which we are not going to need it here we can drag it and drop it here in the block section okay so now let's see to reset and then run yes then it's going to turn left and then move forward yes so we reached our destination right so reach our destination so that's how we can complete um, one by one puzzle right um, so here we have lot many uh, challenges which we uh, which you can explore one by one as you're going to move um, ahead right you'll be um, uh, you'll, you are going to get more complicated challenges which are going to come in your way right so uh, you will uh, get to learn many tricks from each and every activity and always in the last challenge uh, in the last challenge uh, you can be yourself right like uh, there uh, you are not going you are not going to have any defined path right to follow there you have to use your creative uh, and imaginary skills and then you can share it with your friends also and at the end you will uh, get an opportunity to earn your own certificate from r of code so uh, be uh, so, uh, really uh, try hard and i hope you are going to enjoy best of luck have fun and thank you